I 32 f just discovered my husband 34 of 6 years is a reddit troll. He left the browser open on our laptop after he went to work this morning. I go to work after, so I usually hop on and do my own things on my real account. Today, however, I was disgusted at what I found. My husband is a troll. A really ducking nasty troll. He leaves horribly mean comments to all kinds of people. They're filled with racist slurs, awful insults, he tears into fat people, ugly people, etc. He loves to troll around places like Harper Grespix to discourage people, etc. He sent private messages to people to call them names, calls women who post on our gone-willed sluts and whores and cunts, etc. I was horrified. Completely horrified. My husband is a nice, gentle man who is supportive and kind. In our nine-year relationship, we've fought three times total. I never thought this is a behavior he would take part in. But this is something else. It made me wonder what else he did on the internet, so I looked at the browser history to find him also harassing teenagers on Tumblr. Telling them to kill themselves, calling cute girls ugly and fat and stupid, etc. It horrified me to think this was the man who could be raising our daughter with me in a few months. I understand trolling can be fun, we've all laughed at Ken M once or twice. But this goes far beyond what I ever imagined. I don't know how to look at him. I've lost respect for the man I looked up to and admired. Good men don't tear each other down. People people don't do that in general. I don't know what to do. I want to bring it up to him, but I don't know how to do it without him automatically getting defensive and spouting off the same lines you hear from people get a thicker skin, the world isn't kisses and rainbows, etc., of course it isn't but why contribute to it? Now for the comments. Commenter you never suspected this kind of behavior based on how he interacts with you and others? That's extremely horrifying. He seems like he has a lot of pent-up anger or resentment, and he is taking out on people over the internet. I think the best thing to do is to talk to him about it. You're having a child with him, and you can't just walk away from that, as horrifying of a discovery as this may be. But you need to be careful when you approach him. You weren't snooping, he left it open. He can't get mad at you for that though I'm sure he will be extremely defensive. Update us and let us know you're okay. Original poster I don't intend on just walking away. But I am stunned and horrified at the kind of person he's showing himself to be, you know? Commenter how would you know this when moderators in these subreddits delete those type of comments and subsequently ban the username? He's trolling on some heavily moderated places so he can't be making frequent comments under one name. Do you have access to all of his troll accounts? Original poster there were comments up that he just left that morning, that's how I know. Calling strangers awful names, harassing them and doing things just to hurt their feelings does mean that he's not as good a person as I originally thought. Playing COD is one thing. Telling a teenaged girl to end her life is something else. Update 1 I confronted him about the issue very tamely, over breakfast. I asked him, flat out, if he was harassing and bullying people online. He said yes, and immediately withdrew. After telling him that I needed to know why really why, not just I don't know, he said he needed time to think about it. When he finally gave me his answer, I was disappointed. He said he trolled bullied people because it was an outlet for him to relieve stress. He said he didn't view the people as real, or what he was doing as anything other than a joke, and if it hurt feelings, those people have bigger problems and it's not my fault. I told him that it wasn't an acceptable behavior of an adult, and that he needed to stop it and find another way to express his frustrations that didn't involve hurting strangers. He said he would think about it. Unfortunately, he's still doing it. I saw it happening a few mornings back, and after he left, looked again to see more comments and posts. I was disappointed. This was not the man I married. Or so I thought. But I guess it is. I told him that we need to either go to counseling for this or start the separation process. I told him that I couldn't trust him to help raise a child if he speaks to strangers, children included, the way he does online. I let him know that I thought it was cowardly, pathetic, and that I have lost a lot of respect for him. I knew this would be abrasive and hurtful and I don't like that I had to tell him that, but I cannot look at him the same way. We haven't had intercourse, have barely touched. I cannot see my husband as a loving, gentle man. I'm not afraid of him, but I am disgusted with his behavior. This is the sort of thing children do. I made an appointment for counseling for myself over this. Unfortunately, he told me that he wouldn't be going to counseling, because there's nothing wrong with what he's doing, and he deserved to have his me time and release his emotions. And because I want to protect my child, myself, I have asked him to leave the house. He's staying with some friends, but I don't think this will lead to a reconciliation. I'd hope this story would have gone another way. Now for the comments. Commenter would you actually take a man away from his child because of a few silly comments? 
original poster I never said anything about custody in my comments at all. Other people are bringing that up. I would not restrict his visitation or custody at all, so long as he proves that he's a reasonably fit parent. But adults should be able to talk to adults whatever way they like I am not restricting his freedom to talk to people in any way he wants. I am, however, telling him that his choice to do such is unacceptable behavior for a grown man. He was given the option to see a therapist. He was given the option to stop. He was not willing to do either. If he changes his mind, he knows he's got wiggle room. This is the first step. Commenter it's just a comment. Calm down. Original poster it is not a funny quirk to tell a child to unalive themselves. It is not harmless it is not acceptable behavior for a good person. Good people do not tear other people down. I am not a fan of breakups, but you are painting this as a different situation. I gave him options on how we can fix this. I gave him a chance. He declined it and clung to acting like a horrible child. He showed himself to be someone other than who I married. I did not marry someone who would ever tell a child to commit suicide. I married someone I thought was good and kind. He is not that person and was not willing to end that behavior. He would rather harass children and be mean to people than have his family. Update to so, as you can see, it has been six months since this all started unfolding. Since then, I gave birth to my beautiful daughter. She is the light of my life, and she is one of the easiest babies I've ever been around. After one month of being apart, he contacts me and asked me if I would still be willing to enter into counseling regarding our situation. Of course, after being together for so long, and us having a child, and my belief that marriage is not something to be taken lightly, I jumped at this. In counseling, it was revealed that he was doing a lot more than what I knew about. He was involved, heavily, in bullying people all over the internet. And he said that this was his stress relief, that if people can't take it then it's their problem, and not his. He admitted to being involved in taking pictures of fat women and posting them on Reddit, taking them from Tumblr, etc. In general, it was all worse than I had originally known. He moved to also doing individual therapy while still not living at home, and us not meeting elsewhere. He started to put his efforts elsewhere he picked up a few new hobbies to release his tension to. He then decided that he would stop, and we slowly merged our family together again. I was feeling happy, ecstatic really, that my daughter would have the life she deserved. Unfortunately. He's still at it. After three weeks of being together and our lives seeming normal, I discovered from his friend that he was still harassing and bullying teenagers, fat women, etc. I have reason to believe that he is one of the individuals who bullied Lela Alcorn, as well as a few other trans teenagers. It broke my heart and solidified my decision. I tried to have one more counseling session to really get through to him. But he defended his actions as just the internet and not a big deal still. As of February, I filed for divorce. It broke my heart, and I wish there had been another way. But that's the end of this story. I can't be in a marriage with someone who is so cruel to children. I just, I can't. My daughter and I are moving to a smaller house, closer to my family. She will be raised around many, many people who love her already.